Hello and thank you for joining us again on A Walk With God. And I just want to continue on uh, with what I've been speaking about. And I want to stress the fact, you know, in Scripture it says, uh, Many are called, but few are chosen. And very few will enter into His rest. And this is extremely crucial. I, I just ask you, I challenge you to please study Scripture on this and to... Uh, even Christ himself spoke on these things. Uh, look when he refers to the parable of the ten virgins. This is so important. You know, Christ is speaking of those who are, they, they call themselves believers, those who call themselves followers of him. But only very few enter in. Now, I'm not saying that... Uh, if you're listening to this and you don't believe in the rapture, that you're not going to go into the rapture. But I do have to ask a question that, uh, you know, a very smart guy once said, if you don't believe in healing, will you be healed? If you don't believe in Jesus Christ, will you be saved? If you don't believe in the rapture, will you go? Well, Christ himself says that, that uh, basically how the parable of the ten virgins goes is there was there's ten uh, ten that were chosen but only five entered in uh, so please study that and understand that uh, I can get into it deeper but uh, I, I did videos in the past about it so th those are there for you to please view but again I'm not saying that if you don't believe in the rapture that you won't go but again uh, I would not stake my eternity on that what a terrible day it would be to realize that you've been scoffing and mocking and criticizing those who are truly and honestly waiting for Christ's return. And uh, you call yourself a Christ follower and you've been mocking these things and scoffing about them. And then what if? What if because you didn't believe you didn't go? I hope that sinks into your heart. I can't answer that question for you. I know what I, I think, but I'm not going to say that on this video. All I have to do is I have to ask you to please search your own heart. Study scripture about this. Uh, there's a big movement of, of people who call themselves Christ followers who refuse to listen and to study scripture, but they believe their pastor on this, and, and they don't believe that Christ is coming back to remove them before the great mighty day of the second coming after the tribulation. So please today, I the only thing I ask you to please do, if you're on the fence about the rapture, please study scripture for yourself. Stop listening to a man either on television, on YouTube, or maybe even in your own church. You have got to study this for yourself. Your relationship with Jesus Christ is between you and him. It is not between you and your pastor. It is not between you and your church. This is between you and him. Ask the Holy Spirit to fill you and to lead you and to guide you on these things. It is so crucial that you please study scripture on your own about these events. The rapture is, in fact, in the Bible. Search for it. I have several videos and, and many have spoken on this subject. It will happen, whether you believe it or not. This is going to happen. Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, will return to remove his bride, remove his loved ones off the earth before the tribulation begins. So please, today, give your life to him if you don't know him. And if you're on the fence about uh, this event called the rapture, please study this for yourself. Our time is short. Our days here are, are drawing to a close. And I just plead with you to please hear these words. And you know what? I look at it this way. What if things don't turn out the way that I said? What if things don't turn out the way that many believe? What harm is it by waiting, anticipating your Savior? But what if he does come? I believe he is coming soon. But let's just, for sake of argument, 
He comes and you weren't ready. He comes and you didn't believe. He comes and you were the one mocking and scoffing. What then? Are you going to stand before him and tell him, oh, I didn't know Jesus? Oh, uh, I, I, I didn't believe, but now I do. Yeah, he will forgive, but at that point, you may have to go through the tribulation. Again, please, today, study scripture. Don't be left behind. Anticipate his re arrival. Want his arrival. Live each day, not just one day a week. Not just one day a week. Every day, live for Jesus Christ. Commit your life to him. And be like the woman in the well and go and sin no more. It's not, we're not perfect. I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not saying we've got to be perfect. Jesus Christ is the only one who is perfect. But he lives in us. Trust and believe. Have the Holy Spirit fill you and minister to your heart on these things. Anyway, I hope this makes sense. I hope these words find you well. And it's in the name by the blood of Yahshua HaMashiach, the only Lord, the only Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Bye-bye.